he recognized their religious authority and was in charge of their placement in the army and intelligence. A policy pursued by Hafez al-Assad with the members of the Murshid sect in order to bring them closer to him. How has Iran benefited from this policy and been able to apply it to reaching their goals in Syria? Since 1977, Hafez al-Assad has been supporting the Murshidiyin. He brought them into the parliament and granted them three seats while also including nearly 10,000 of them in the elite military forces. He even brought some of them into the high-ranking positions, such as Major General Bajat Suleiman. In line with this support, a relationship between Iran and the Murshidiyin began when Assad brought in more than 3,000 of them into the Third Corps, which was established by Iran in the late 1980s and is in charge of protecting the missile manufacturing platforms and installations. In the span of 25 years, the Iranian leadership developed a relationship with the Murshidiyin during their service in the Third Corps, which is fully funded by Iran. Iran is in control of its leadership and organization, as well as training its members. After 2011, Iran used its relationship with these guerrilla forces to form fully funded militias that would help it regain the areas of land that it now controls in Syria. Some of these militias include the Shaheen and al arin militias, which are considered one of the biggest and most important combat militias in Syria. Today, Iran is trying to impose its religious presence in the Murshidin villages by establishing Shiite schools and institutes there, as it did in most of the cities and villages that it dominated. Will Iran plan to target other communities and minorities to gain complete control over Syria?